In Northern California, just south of San Francisco, there is a land where the elite flock. It's a land of tech and wine, a land of former nerds and current millionaires, a land where startups are king until they're bought out by one of those many billion dollar companies also in the area. That's right, I'm talking about Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley is home to the most expensive city in America and some of the most expensive homes in the world. Today, we're going to take a look at a few of the most expensive homes that are currently for sale there. That being said, I personally have put an offer in for one of the homes, so let me know down below which one you think stole my heart. Number 5. 369 Churchill Avenue, Palo Alto, $39.9 million. At 369 Churchill Avenue, you'll find a modern Tudor-style home. From the front, it almost looks quaint, doesn't it? You can hardly tell it's a $39.9 million home with five bedrooms, seven baths, and a bunch of hidden surprises. The interior of the house is white, with enough whimsical lights to really remind you the home was made by millionaires with money to burn. The home is coated in gilded accents, large open doorways, windows imported from Italy, and stunning hardwood floors. Naturally, the bottom floor has a temperature-controlled 3,500 bottle wine cellar, which is perfect if you have 3,500 bottles of wine laying around. Once you've grabbed your bottle of wine from the cellar, you can take the elevator up to the second floor. There you'll find several living spaces, a gourmet kitchen, and if you're looking for it, the butler's kitchen. The top floor is where you'll find all the bedrooms, including the master bedroom, which has a walk-in closet, a large fireplace, a private balcony, and my favorite home addition of all, a kitchenette. No more wandering all the way downstairs in your boxes for that cup of joe. Set on 1.12 acres, the home has an English-style garden, just to prove how English it is. It also has a badminton court. It's bringing back some childhood memories, I do have to say. The home also has a beach access pool, a hot tub, and several verandas to relax under. Of course, there's also a pool house with a full bath that can be used as a billiards room. Number 4. 27500 La Vida Real, Los Altos Hills. The next home on our list has some features I've never seen in a house in my entire life, and I've seen a lot of houses in my years. 27500 La Vida Real in Los Altos Hills, California is listed at $39.9 million, just like 369 Churchill Avenue. It begs the question, which one is really worth that price? 27500 La Vida Real is a 20,982 square foot home. You could fit about 2,900 tiny homes in this monster of a house. So, what does it do with all that space? Well, quite a bit. This home is a five bedroom, 12 bath, set on eight acres, and my, 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 does it use every inch of that eight acres. The grounds are covered in stunning landscaping, with several built-in fireplaces, dining areas, and, uh, dancing children. Well, look, not everything in the house has to be a winner. The house itself is a mix of white floors and walls, hardwood floors, wood ceilings, dark wood accents. Basically, there's just white and wood everywhere, and it looks phenomenal. So, yes, the home is stunning. It feels elegant. It feels like a rich home. But where's the fun? The pizzazz? Where's the pool you can fill with all your money? Oh, right here. This is actually the only indoor pool on our list, and the only indoor pool with retractable skylights and built-in swivel chairs underwater. If that's not enough fun for you, the home also has a 3,000 bottle wine cellar, a 15-seat private theater, and a billiards room. Thinking about how much you'd have to work to afford this home, well, what if I told you you could work from this home? Home. There's a separate building containing an executive office and meeting rooms. Why drive to town when you could deal with all your business in a nicer office right at home? 
number three, 267 Camino al Lago, Atherton, California, $41.48 million. The next home on our list brings us to Atherton, the most expensive neighborhood in the United States. At 267 Camino al Lago, the next home certainly contributes to that, with a price tag of $41.48 million. This seven bedroom, 13 bathroom home is 21,000 square feet. It's an awfully good thing you'd have a maid if you lived here, right? The home has light wood accents, a neutral color palette, and the standard expensive artsy lights throughout. Not that I'm ragging on them, I'm just reporting the facts here. This home is one of the less flashy on our list. There's a gourmet kitchen, walk-in closets, and a Dolby theater. The exterior is where the home really shines, with a lap pool, beautifully maintained grounds, and an outdoor fireplace area. Personally, I think that'd be a lovely place to curl up at night, look at the stars, and count your money under the crackle of fire. Ah, doesn't that sound like a relaxing evening? Number two, 1868 Floribunda Avenue, Hillsboro, California. $45 million. If you were to buy a $45 million home, I think you'd probably be content if it was 1868 Floribunda Avenue in Hillsboro. It's an eight bedroom, 10 bath, with a gorgeous all white interior. But it isn't the interior that makes me excited about this house. Frankly, it isn't the interior that adds up to 45 million, even though it is extravagant, with a gourmet kitchen, walk in closets, and stained glass windows. No, no, no. For me, it's all in the backyard. I need to start by saying this home has a built-in bocce court. Not sure what bocce ball is? Well, it's lawn bowling. Even if you don't know what that is, surely you know something called lawn bowling has got to be pricey. Once you're done lawn bowling on the property, you can cross bridges over to your own personal koi pond, complete with a waterfall. The pond leads to a patio beside an aviary on your property. Hopefully you have birds because the home is ready for them. Naturally, you have have your yoga studio and guest house in the back, which has its own private entrance and driveway on the property. One might think a koi pond, an aviary, a lawn bowling court, and a yoga studio would be enough, but that's not even half of what these grounds have to offer. There's an orchard and an extravagant garden, a golf putting green, an outdoor kitchen, a full pool and spa, and a separate maid's quarters with its own entrance. I mean, with all that outside, I think I'd be happy as a clam just popping up a tent on the lawn. Number 1. 610 Los Tracos Road, Palo Alto. We've reached the most expensive home on our list. In my humble opinion, this is a home that belongs at the top of the list. Even with a price of $53.8 million, I think this home might just be worth it. And let me walk you through why. The home's interior was clearly designed with wineries in mind. Almost every room has exposed wood beams, stone fireplaces, and floor-to-ceiling windows. The home is light and airy throughout, even having glass floors in places just to ensure the house is as bright as possible. I don't think I'd enjoy walking over that after a long night out, however. There are several living areas throughout the four floors of the home, including dens, playrooms, and even corporate dining areas for holding meetings. This home has a poker room, a wine cellar, a massive movie theater, a full disco floor, a spa with steam, a sauna and massage room, a billiard room, a hidden safe room in case of a perch, and a, well, a pizza room. I have no idea what a pizza room is, but I want one, desperately. My guess is it's right between the poker room and the wine cellar, or maybe it's somewhere between the disco floor and the bedrooms, anywhere that's perfect to stumble into after a night of partying. So maybe this house gets a little weird, but pizza rooms, disco rooms, poker rooms, is that enough to keep you entertained? Well, the room does have a full gym and a full basketball court, complete with climbing ropes and an intercom system, but perhaps it's summer. Maybe it's a little too hot to play basketball. Well, no worries. At this house, you can walk right next door into your own private ice arena. However, there's no word about there being a Zamboni included, though. If you're not into basketball or ice hockey, well, there's always golf. The home comes with two putting greens and a 110-yard practice area, just your average everyday home. 
So, there you have it. The five most expensive homes for sale in Silicon Valley right now. Which house do you like the most? And which one do you think I put an offer in on? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip. Did doodly do.